Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Unlocked. I'm your host, Tracy Wilson. Always my pleasure to be here with you guys. I'm just going to make sure that my... That's a bit better. I can hear you guys... Well, well, I can hear myself better now because I've put my headset on. So I want to welcome you guys to today's show. And I've got something pretty special to share with you today. I'm just going to get myself comfortable in my chair um, because... This is kind of one thing that makes all the difference to people who are doing stuff online. So whether you're someone who's doing a show like I am and uh, I'm going to answer a question that I get often is like, why do you do a show? Why do you give away so much um, valuable information and why do you do it all for free? And of course, there is a reason for this, which I'm going to cover off in today's show. And I also want to cover this off. This is a, a subject called the big switch. And it basically is how how to take the audience that I'm going to say you borrow and how do you actually turn them into an audience that you own. So I want you to think about um, everything that you do online like this. So essentially when I'm doing a live show and I have a whole bunch of people that join me live on the show and I'm doing it on Facebook or um, Instagram or YouTube or wherever the case may be, essentially what I'm doing is I am borrowing an audience from those particular platforms. So I'm borrowing the audience that is currently sitting on Facebook right now. So most of you guys who are joining the show live, um, this is a live show. You are able to type to me in the uh, in the chat below, uh, below the Facebook comments where you're actually seeing this video live and you can actually ask me questions during the live show. So I just want you guys to know that. And secondly, if you want to do that, please just make sure that you allow StreamYard to see you because if you don't do that, uh, particular part I won't you'll be typing away um, crazy and like hey Trace I've got a, a great question for you but I actually won't see it so I won't be able to answer it for you so you want to do like the lovely Robin Helm has right here she is allowed StreamYard to see and so she can type to me and she says hi Tracy I say hi Robin um, and I'm actually able to see her so you have to do that so that I can actually see your comments so like I said, I do a show and it is every single week and I give away a whole lot of information. I kind of share, I'm going to say, you know, lots of people say the meat and potatoes of everything that I do. I don't hold anything back. I, I give it all to you guys. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that I do inside of my programs that are, you know, really intimate. Um, I spend a lot of time, one-on-one -on -one time with my students, working through their specific needs in their business. But on the show, I give you guys like the general tools, the general concepts, the ways in which, um, you know, the tools and resources, et cetera, that I use, that I have available. And then you guys can adapt them yourselves to whatever business um, you have. So in this case, like I mentioned at the beginning, I want you to think about when you were doing anything online, doesn't matter whether you were just posting from a business point of view, you were doing a show like this, you are podcasting, you are, you know, um, doing Facebook lives, you are doing that with a borrowed audience. You are borrowing the audience that is on Facebook. Now, what's the problem with that? The big problem is, is that when you borrow something, Often, not always, but you're supposed to give it back, right? So you don't actually own it. It belongs to the person that you borrowed it from. So the audience, you guys watching right now, don't belong to me. You're not you're not an audience of, of mine as such. You belong to Facebook. You are on the Facebook platform. You belong to Facebook. And why is that? Because it's Facebook that has your information. It's Facebook that has your data. It's YouTube that has your data that is able to continue to communicate to you if they wanted to. I couldn't do that, even though you might be watching today's show. I don't have any way of being able to reach back out to you and say, hey, via an email or via a text message or whatever the case may be. I've no way of doing that. I can just see that you're here, you know, online with me watching the show right now. And subsequently, as Robin Helm states right now, she's saying, and subsequently, Facebook could actually pick up and take that audience away. And she's absolutely right. So what we want to do with this is we want to create a big switch. Now, there's some fundamental things that I need to get you to understand before we move to that, um, before I sort of start delving into what the big switch is. And they are this. There is um, several, there's three different types of traffic, let's call them that, or audiences. And we need to understand the three different types of traffic to enable you to actually take advantage of what these three different types of traffic are. So there's traffic that you control. And this is what we call 
buying your way in. Now, that might be something like a Facebook ad, all right? So you can control to a degree the traffic or the audience that you uh, can reach by buying some Facebook ads and you need to pay your way into that. This is what we call buying your way in. The second type of traffic you have is the traffic that you earn. So you might earn your way in by doing you know, shows like this, doing podcasts, by um, posting regularly so that you start building up an audience and you're actually earning your stripes, so to speak. You are giving away really good information, really good value. And over time, people get to know you, like you, trust you, want to continue to dial in and listen to what it is that you've got to say. That's what we call earning your way in. So fast way is you cough up some cash and you say to Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or wherever it is, you say, I want to go hard and fast and I'm prepared to pay for it. And I want you to spread this information out um, to the audience that I have stipulated uh, based on my, my budget. Then the traffic that you earn is like showing up, doing all doing things organically, showing up, earning your way in, speaking on a podcast, creating your own show, speaking on other people's podcasts, so on and so forth. And like I mentioned, over time, people get to know you, like you, trust you. They come to know what to expect them when they are uh, interacting with you from this, from an online perspective, and you get to earn your way in. The third piece of traffic is what we call traffic that you own. And this is where things start to get really interesting because we want to make the switch from the traffic that you control, right? So you're having to buy your way in all the time and also the traffic that you earn by having to show up religiously doing things over and over and over again. At some point, you want to be able to transfer that traffic and make the big switch over to traffic that you actually own. All right. So the sort of sort of thing that you want to do is you want to kind of grab that traffic and be able to turn it into something that is on your database. And there's there's a few different ways that you can do this. And there's one specific way that I'm going to t talk to you guys about today. And I'm going to give you a tool that will help you to be able to create the big switch in your own business if you are doing anything online, because you absolutely do not want to be at the whim of, you know, um, Zuckerberg and the other guys that are making all of the decisions about what happens on their platforms. You want to be able to be in control of your own business and what actually happens. And you need to do that, you need to start making this big switch. Because if you don't, you are going to leave yourself wide open uh, for a big change to come through. And all of a sudden, it will just chop the legs out from under you and from under your business. And you'll be wondering, what the heck do I do now? So today's show is to help you to start putting some foundations and some ways that you can start making these switches really easily into your business now. Okay, so the goal, like I said, is to create traffic and you want to place your offers, so any kind of offer that you've got. So for example, I mentioned to you today that I've got something to give, I've got something free for you that's going to make it easy for you to be able to make these big switches. That is an opportunity for me to make an offer for you and also an opportunity for me to be able to turn the traffic that I've borrowed and that I'm earning through doing these things, doing my regular show into traffic that I now own. And I could then continue to communicate with you and give you some cool stuff that um, doesn't necessarily always get get shared on uh, the live show. So there's three different types of traffic that I traffic that you own that I want to talk about today. So there's the Get somebody on your database and on your list because what you want to do is there's money in your database. And if you think about growing your business long term, what is it that is really, really valuable to somebody who is going to purchase your business? It's the database that you have. It's the ability to be able to sell the products and or services that you have to an audience over and over and over again. So super important and a, a point that should not be underestimated in any business really important piece. Okay, so we want to get them onto your database. First type of database is like your email list. Then the next one is like your pixel data. I'm not going to cover too much about that today. I'm just going to mention it. And then there's also the opportunity for you to be able to do some like automated, I'm going to call them bots, you know, using um, uh, uh, AI 
and being able to talk to, to people through, you know, use of um, robotics, so to speak. And I'm personally not a big fan of that. I much prefer to speak to people, you know, personally rather than creating these um, these automated bot messages. However, they work and they work really well for some people. So this is going to help you to, or like I mentioned, to help you to increase the value of your business and help you to future proof it. All right. So it doesn't matter what happens. If you've got a decent size of database, then you've always got something to fall back on and be able to come up with a new product, a new service, a new way of doing things that you can actually share with your audience. Okay. So we've talked about the three different types of traffic. So the traffic that that you own, the traffic that you earn, and the traffic that you control. And what I would say is I would get you to write this down on a piece of paper and just jot down, like, you know, at the top, traffic that I control, I will pay for it. And then just jot down what sort of things could you do that would be, you know, in that category. So are you going to do Facebook ads? Are you going to do YouTube ads? Like what sort of things, banner ads, what sort of things could you do that you are prepared to pay for? Newspapers, billboards, so on and so forth. You can just get your imagination run wild. Then you've got the traffic that you earn. So what could you do to continuously earn the tr earn the, the, the trust um, and get to be known, get to be liked, to get to be trusted with, an, with your audience, what sort of things could you do with that? So just jot that down under the section of traffic that you earn and then in traffic that you own, what sort of things could you do to be able to make that switch and move people from that traffic that you control, that you have to pay for, the traffic that you're consistently earning into traffic that you actually own. And why do we want to do that? because your list is going to become your secret weapon. Your list actually has leverage in it. It's a list that you can leverage to be able to, like, like I mentioned, offer your new products and new services, tell people about the new things that you are bringing out, um, get them to know you, like you and trust you. So if you start a brand new business, they already know who you are and you have a list of people that you can go to and you can then announce and you can launch that new business too. Okay, so I'm just going to scoot down because I've actually got a presentation based on this. and I'm just covering some of it off uh, today. A lot of, more of this, I go really deep inside of a program uh, that we've created called Influence and Authority Method. That's where I teach people how to create their own show. This is a big part of it. So you're not just showing up, doing your show, and it's all for naught. You know, you're doing it to build up your influence and your authority. And then at some point, you're going to be able to offer uh, various different, you know, giveaways, freebies. Uh, lead magnets, etc., that people are going to want. And you want to make sure that you're creating those things uh, in a way that people actually do want them. And if you hang about on today's show, I'm actually going to be covering off the nine, like the nine principles that uh, help you to create lead magnets that your audience actually want. All right. So just hang about because I'm going to I'm going to get to all of that. Okay. So what does doing this transfer um, do for you and your business. So I've talked about that it actually adds value, that it gives you some flexibility. It means that you're able to be a little bit more agile. It gives you some leverage um, further down the track and it makes your business more desirable when the time comes for you to want to sell it. But at this point, you are building out your database so that you can continue to build and nurture relationships with your audience so that as time goes on, you can continue to introduce them to other things that might be useful for them to help them improve and thrive across their business, their family, or their life in some way, shape, or form. So that's essentially what we're wanting to do here. Okay, so now what I'm going to cover off is I'm going to cover off a document that I'm going to make available to you guys today. So you'll be able to go and you'll be able to download it and you'll be able to create your lead magnets in a way that covers all of the nine key things so that you're creating them so that your audience actually want them. They're not just like, oh, pretty things that nobody's going to want to download. So there's nine things that we need to cover. So in this um, document, and in fact, what I might even do is I might go like this, and I'm going to see if I can share my screen with you guys, because I think that might be mighty helpful. So let's just do that. Share, share my screen, and let's just share the screen over here. Okay, let's pop that up on. 
All right, so you can see that there is this lead magnet document on the screen right now. Just squeeze that up so you can see it. Okay, so in the giveaway that I'm going to give you guys today is there is a um, there is this document. It's a workbook, a worksheet, and a lead magnet checklist. So I want you to think about this. So if you're somebody who's doing a podcast, doing a show, or you've got some sort of online program or, or anything for that matter, you're doing something online and you want to be able to make a switch you want to, to switch the traffic from traffic that you're borrowing or that you're buying into traffic that you actually own. You need to do it in a way that is really natural, that is really, you know, from a place of giving, we're adding value. And by doing that, people are going to want to download what it is that you have. So creating a lead magnet. The first thing you want to do is your lead magnet must have a title. So in the lead magnet, magnet that I'm giving you away today, it is the lead magnet worksheet and checklist, right? Really simple. It doesn't have to be anything rocket science. And it's and it's um, and there'll be a tagline with it. Okay, so then I'm going to describe the lead magnet, the promise, and the outcome. Okay, so in this checklist, you'll be able to download it and you'll actually be able to write on here and it's going to help you to formulate what your lead magnet should be and potentially even what it should look like. It'll help you frame all of that up. So you want to describe what the outcome is. So in this case today, once you've complete, once you download the lead magnet worksheet and checklist, you're going to know the exact steps that you need to take to be able to create work, uh, create lead magnets that your audience want. That is the big promise that I am giving you guys today. Then you want to think about what type of lead magnet should I be creating? And there's all sorts of different things that you can do. Reports, guides, toolkits, resource lists, quizzes, surveys. You know, there's a whole bunch of them. And I've put them all on the checklist here for you to, uh, for you to have a look at and for you to consider creating for yourself. All right. Then we're going to go to, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, then let me just make sure I've got the right slide here. Let me just pull this back. Come back here, you. All right, there's another document I need. Just give me two seconds. Let me pull it up for you. Uh, where'd we go? Get over there. If you guys are listening to the podcast right now, I'm going to give you guys um, all of this in the description section. All right, so you'll be able to get a copy of the checklist in the description section today. Okay, so the second page of the document, I'm going to go through the nine point lead magnet checklist. And these are the nine things that you need to consider when you are creating your uh, lead magnets. So the first thing you want to do when you're creating your lead magnet is it needs to be super specific. So you don't ever want to be like wide. They should never be vague or vanilla. They need to be very specific and really solve one specific problem or a sol provide a solution to a very super specific market. All right. So in this case, it's for you guys who are creating things online. So if you are, um, if you're not using online, any kind of online promotional um, marketing uh, strategies, then this is probably not going to work for you. All right. So this is a very specific market, those that want to use online strategies. The next thing you want to do is that your lead magnet should be just one thing. So everybody wants that magic pill or the silver bullet. So it's easy and it's always better to make just one, you know, just to deliver just one specific promise and uh, as opposed to a lot of little ones. So you don't want to have like five or six things that you're going to get out of the lead magnet. You just want to have one very specific thing. So, and that's so that people can get a win. You want them to win with what it is that you are providing them. You also want to make sure that your lead magnet speaks to a known, wanted end audience. That is really important. I'm just going to see if I can make this a bit bigger. There we go. That's better. All right. So it needs to speak to. So you want to know what your what does your market really want? If you can figure that out and you can offer that in a, in a lead magnet that promises it, they will happily give you their contact information. So this is kind of like an exchange of um, of, of information. 
They'll provide you with their email and their name. You provide them with something else in value. Really important that 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 value that exchange of value actually happens. All right, because they're giving you something really precious, which is their name and their email, and the, an invitation to be sending them uh, sending them further information via their email. And you do not want to go down the path of being spammy. So really, really important that you do that. The next thing that I've got on the list is immediate gratification. All right, so the sorts of things that don't work particularly well here is newsletters or multi-day email courses in your lead magnet. You don't want to do that. Um, your, your market is looking for a solution and they want it now. We live in the age of instant gratification. Unfortunately, people are not prepared to wait. They want the answer and they want it now. So whatever it is, you've got to give that to them so that they get that instant gratification. So in this case, they're going to get their lead magnet and it's going to be a Available to, they're going to get the lead magnet worksheet and it's going to be available to them immediately and they can use this immediately. Okay, the next thing is purpose. The purpose of your lead magnet is something you must remember is to establish trust and rapport with your audience by providing something of high value, of high perceived value, right? So they must see it as being. I really want that. It's a valuable piece of information. And then it's also designed to build your database by collecting their name and their email address. And I've also got on here, most importantly, their phone number, particularly if you need to, to do some sort of um, phone outreach, that's going to be really important for you. Okay, the other thing that your lead magnet must do, it must shift the relationship. All the best lead magnets do more than just inform. So just giving statistical data or you know information, it's actually not enough. They actually need to change their state of their mind and their prospects so that it will pre-frame them to engage in future business with you. So for example, with this, it's like, okay, I didn't know how to create a lead magnet before, but now that I've got these nine steps, it makes the process really simple for me. So something really simple, easy, for them to consume and easy for them to take action on is really important. I've already mentioned this, um, but it's it's important to mention it again, is like high perceived value. Important piece here, just because it's free, because you're going to be giving these away for free, doesn't mean it should look free. All right, really important. You don't want to just bash something up and throw it out there and it looks like, you know, your four-year-old my four-year-old grandson or my granddaughter did it, it needs to look like you've spent a bit of time and effort on it and make it look professional. Use professional graphics and use imagery to establish the real monetary value of whatever it is that you are giving away. Super, super important um, that you do that. And in fact, I've just gone and created a workbook for a program that uh, that my business partner Vicky Helm is doing. And again, it's a workbook that goes with a program that she's doing. It's a free complimentary workbook, but it's not it's not just one or two pages. It's like a 20 page decently weighted workbook so that it feels like it's got a lot of value and it's a, and it's valuable in not only the way it looks, but it's valuable in the content that is provided and also the outcome that somebody would, the outcome and the actions that somebody would take as a result of using it. And then it also not just has to have a high perceived value. And I've just mentioned, uh, alluded to this with the workbook we've just done for Vicky, but it needs to have a high actual value. So your lead magnet, if it's all sparkle and no substance, it's not going to do any good. Your audience is going to pick it up and go, oh, well, that, that sounded really good, but what a load of rubbish. So you want to make sure that it not only has a high perceived value, but it actually is valuable and that, um, you know, that it does deliver on its promise. Because if you don't, then you can lose your, you know, you lose the trust and you lose the attention of the person that uh, just downloaded whatever it was that you have, uh, have created. And the last thing I've got on the list here, is rapid consumption. So you don't want your lead magnet to be a roadblock to your sales process or to your sales funnel. And in an ideal world, it should be something that is able to be consumed in five minutes or less. So this particular document that I'm going to make available to everyone, they download it, they can they can work their way through it. And in five minutes flat, they've got the, the guts of their lead magnet done. They've got the framework. They know exactly what it is that they're going to create. So therefore, when they go, 
into creation mode, they know exactly what it is that they are doing. So really important that uh, that your lead magnets are, are like consumable, rapid consumption, that they're able to get a result really quickly. So quick wins are really important here. And you don't want to use things like, I'm going to say it's here, we've said boring ebooks that take, you know, days to read. This is not the place or the time to create those sorts of things. You might offer that a little bit further down the track. I'm talking about, um, you know, high impact lead magnets that people will want to download, get a result, they solve one problem, what one solution that gives them immediate gratification. So really important. So if you want a copy of this uh, document, all you've got to do is head on over to Tracy M. Wilson. I'm just going to stop sharing my screen now. Stop share. So Tracy M. Wilson and go to, let me put the, uh, put it in here. It is lead magnet. So let me just grab that. I'm going to pop it into the chat here for you guys. Or in fact, I'll put it in as a banner. And you'll be seeing it come up on the screen. So if you want a copy of this, just head on over and grab it from tracymwilson.com forward slash lead magnet forward slash lead magnet. There you go. So you can go and get your copy of it right there. And you'll be able to use that, print it out, use it time and time and time again to create your lead magnets. What I can tell you is when you use this process, you should get the, um, the entire process of like, what is the idea? What is, how am I going to create it? Down to about 20 minutes from actually creating the lead magnet itself, right the way through to creating the landing page that it goes on. And then you can jump onto your shows, jump into your podcasts, you know, onto social media, and you can start telling people about it and inviting people to download it just like I have today. So I hope that you found today's session really, really useful. That's how you make the big switch. You must do it. You want to make sure that you're thinking about that because otherwise in three or four years time, you know, it might be time for you to sell your business. And had you started now with making these switches, you would have had a much, you know, in three years time, you'll have a much more uh, valuable business because it's got a large database to go with it. So go ahead and start unlocking uh, the secrets to creating your own really valuable lead magnets and starting to add them into everything that you do and start inviting people to download them and start growing your database and your list, which will enable you to stop being reliant on other people borrowing the list from other people like Facebook and Instagram and so on and so forth and actually start building an audience that you own. All right, guys, I'm going to say um, thanks so much for joining me today. Like I said, you know where to go to get a copy of the Lead Magnet Worksheet and Checklist. You can head on over to Tracy and Wilson forward slash lead dash magnet forward slash lead dash magnet. Go there uh, and get a copy of that today. And uh, I'm going to see you guys back again on another episode of Unlocked with Tracy Wilson on Friday morning at 10 a.m. Brisbane time. All right, guys, have a fantastic week and I'll say bye for now. See you guys.